got the new 2021 VW Tiguan facelift. It's just recently arrived in South Africa. Uh, this particular version is the 1.4 uh, turbo, right? Tiguan. And then uh, as we move right along, we can see new styling elements that have come to this car. Um, especially if we move right to the back, we can see the new tailpipes that have come through. Uh, but they are not they are artificial tailpipes so yeah. they're not the real ones yeah, they're, not the real they're not the real ones but they still look very stylish um, as we go through to the back we have got uh, reverse light cameras um, which are hidden got a tow bar and uh, boot space so you've got an easy pack tailgate which is your electronic uh, closing system sure this here just basically folds your tow bar in oh nice oh okay there it goes all right do it again Okay, I'll just lock it. Okay. You just push and then the button. Oh, it goes right in. away. Uh -huh. If you want it out again, just pull out. Oh, nice. And, and then, then you lock, lock it in it. place. Yes. Oh, and then nice. you can place your adapter over there for your towing, obviously. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's just close this up. And then... Okay, in this particular one, we have the 20-inch rims that come on it. Mm -hmm. So these are nice uh, proper rims that the on, the previous the years, tires. on the previous Tiguan you could get them on the high line mm -hmm. so, but now you can get them on the 1.4 as well. It Is used it? to okay. come out on the 2 liters. Great and then we, we shouldn't forget the parking distance control yes. PDC. So, as soon as you see one of the parking uh, sensors on this side, yeah. automatically means that this car has an active parking system. Okay. So the car can park, park itself. itself. Yes. Okay. So if they're only at the back, that's just rear PDC. PDC. And if it's in front, it's just front PDC. However, if you see it on the side, this assists with your side detection of vehicles or any objects. Okay. And obviously, with the R line signature, R line badge on the side, mm -hmm. this is the new R sign, which is so, so slick. So this is one of the best lighting system that VW came with, is the IQ lighting system. So in this one in particular, get the cornering lights, auto dim and bright, which is one of the best features. Basically now what you see here is the daytime running lights. And then your, your typical indicators would be over there. I, just I like this new design shine. as the, the headlamps stretch to yeah, the side, you know? It's like, it's like it's got this extended Highlight kind of thing. thing going on, yeah. yeah. Coming down to the bottom of the grill, this feature here has just been enhanced. Like it's, it's just so mean, yeah. and this chrome finish just yes. adds a finer detail. And like I said, with the parking sensors at the back, there is the other one showing that this car is an active park assist, which park is assist, your yeah. where the car parks itself. Okay. And then again, VW will change their logo. Not much of a change, it was just the font, if I can say. Mm -hmm. And this year, since it's like this, this car has your ACC, which is your adaptive cruise control. Okay. You see when the when it's got like glass kind of finish in the front. Uh. see that's quite different is the um, air conditioning system here yes so VW has went full touch mm. on the aircon system mm. so this is digitalized it's one of the best one of the best even and the, the gears obviously the gear font this here whole system here has changed and I believe you know by now we're using the type C yeah, USB port USB port and mm. with this yeah well if I can go to other models from the polo TSI comfort line if you have this type C and you just put in the extension to use to to go to a 2.0 USB mm -hmm. you can actually play videos 
mm. on the From screen. Here. However, we'll do that on the next car that we get. That we get. All yes. right. And the multifunction steering wheel. Multifunction steering wheel. wheel. Okay. So if, for example, you want to mirror what's going on here mm -hmm. to here, mm -hmm. you can do that. For example, you can have navigation in the center screen over there. Mm -hmm. I can do that for you. But that's that's very possible. It's also, yeah. also quite possible to do that. And you can also have your change in view, the screen over there. Okay. So it's got and three bit different mode, driving modes. Okay? Yes, three views. Three views. So, right. And then obviously, if you change the mode to sport, okay, it just needs us to be active on the road. On the road, yeah. And then you can have your individual setting, normal, like all uh, the other cars. Other cars. That can be able no, to. that's that's great. The nicer thing about this car, my brother, these controls over here, this is one of the best. And this steering wheel is so small, so compact, so sporty for this SUV. Mm. It is nice. You feel like I've never been in a racing car, but it feels like I'm in an <laughs> F1 racing car. Obviously, no. since it's a sports car, you've got your mm -hmm. pedal know, shifting yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, interior-wise, it's still the same space mm. with the previous, but then it's just a few things that I've changed. Alright, that's great.